Hey everybody, this is Devin bringing you another video. This is kind of an update. It's not really a themed video, just sort of an update on what's going on with me. The title of this video is Fall Nine Times, Get Up 10. And what that means to me is I had a 30 day challenge to do 30 videos and I did not complete that challenge. I still intend to do content, but during the time that I uploaded my last video and the time that I'm here making this video, a lot has changed and I wanted to kind of go over that not only for anyone's benefit that's watching but also just for my own benefit looking back and kind of seeing where I'm at November of 2016. So despite not being able to make content a lot has changed I decided that I wanted to focus on some of the other goals I had that were trying to be more consistent with and actually I've had like a lot of success with those goals I think failure is a really interesting thing and that while I failed my 30-day challenge, as I'll explain in this video, I succeeded in a lot of other challenges. The 30-day challenge, not making 30 videos is not that big of a deal because I'm still trying to figure out what I should do with content and how I should make these videos if I want to make it into a show format, if I want to bring other people in and do something that's more meaningful. I figure out like I haven't got exactly what I want out of these videos yet. And then there's the other factor of just not having a lot of time to produce the kind of quality that I expect from a YouTube channel of mine. So that's another factor that is really difficult. It's like, how do you just find the time when I'm going full blown with CLG and I've got all kinds of other stuff going on. So what have I been doing since I last uploaded the video? I've been focusing a lot on my own self development, starting with my weight. I lost 19 pounds in the last two months, mostly through hot yoga, which I started doing every day and jujitsu, which I do three or four times a week. And I also started getting up at 5:30 in the morning. I got that tip from Jocko Willink, who is an awesome Navy seal that I've been watching, listening to podcasts on, got me into waking up really early. So I've been waking up consistently for about that amount of time at 5:30. It's completely changed my life to get up early. I've become a lot more effective and I actually can envision a world where I can work on everything CLG, but I can also do these videos. It just kind of comes down to how I prioritize my time and getting to that point where I feel like I can make videos, but I can also do everything else I need to do. I think that just comes down to being very decisive with how I spend my off time and being sure that I have some time every night to make these videos. The company has been going really well. We've brought on some new hires. You probably just saw the announcement for the business development. John, he's a fantastic dude. I mean, he's a Terminator. Super glad to have him on this team and also Matthew Nashua, our esports director. So for CLG stuff is looking really good. I'm really proud of the company right now. Really proud of the team. It feels like there's a lot of challenges, but most of the challenges are on a macro level. And a lot of the fires that we're putting out on a micro level are addressing the kind of industry wide changes that are happening in esports, which are scary, <laughs> but manageable. And over the long term, I think we'll win. So I've been focusing a lot on CLG. That's probably obvious working six straight days a week. I take Sunday off, which is when I'm making this video today, making sure that I have that time to read, to clean, to reflect, to observe, to kind of get off campus and really not spend a lot of time with people within CLG so I can diverse that energy out. And that's been really good for me. Sleeping schedule has changed everything. I think I need to do videos about it, but I, I just can't talk enough to how much that has changed my life. And also putting a lot of the things that I do in the morning into a routine. So I lay out my clothes in the morning so that I have my clothes, I have my water bottle, and then I just get up at 5.30, hit my 6 a.m. yoga class, and by seven, I'm like back and I'm awake and being a gamer and just waking up and in the middle of the day, sometimes I wake up at 3 p.m., 4 p.m. Some days, you know, in the past, it's a total game changer to wake up that early. My goal is to wake up at 4.30 every morning. So I have an hour of kind of prep, reading, energy building, mind building before I get into my workouts and then I get after the day. It's been super good. It's been super good. It's just been a huge improvement in my life. I feel better than I ever have in my life physically, mentally. I'm, I'm more there than I've ever been just growing at a really fast rate. There's a couple of things. There's always a couple of things in your life that are difficult and trying to, you're trying to improve. I mean, for me, that is, you know, how do I get out there and keep broadcasting this message of personal development and self-improvement? 
particularly because I'm just living it more every day and I want to tell that story. I'm coming up with some ideas that I might want to do some kind of show or some kind of element of that. The problem is that I just, I think I need help. I think I need someone that like lives in Los Angeles, knows how to do video production and comes to the house and, and films me. And I'd be willing to pay if I had that person, but just going out and trying to find that person is really difficult. And then maybe someone else that would edit these videos or maybe take film of some of the things we do at CLG. I am hiring a video director, but that's for CLG. That's for player content and staff content. I wouldn't be using that person for me. That would be someone that I paid out of pocket because that is kind of my own brand. So I'm having a challenge just finding help for what I need to do. I mean, I wanna make a video every day, I don't think that's necessarily the way to reach people. I think I'll land somewhere on two to three videos a week. And hopefully we can do something like a podcast sort of format. I wanna bring in successful people in esports, particularly since I'm in that ecosystem. It's really easy to invite those people in and talk about what makes them successful, their routines. I think that's more useful than just me sitting here talking to you. Though I still wanna do some of that, I think that that can be beneficial if I kinda of lock down the method that I use to do that. One thing I'm pretty sure of, weirdly enough, is like my videos feel a lot better when I don't prep and I don't write notes, or maybe if I just write really specific bullet points and then I just kind of take the time to think about what I say and I kind of ad hoc it. it, tends to be a lot better. I ramble a little bit more, but I feel like the impact is a lot better. I don't force it. And let's see, what else am I thinking about? I'm thinking about improving my social a lot, uh, particularly Instagram. So I really wanna get a Pixel XL so that I can do high quality photos, but they're always sold out. Google has them back ordered for like two months. I should just order one so that before I know it, it'll be here in December. But I wanna check if I can get one in a store or something. But just thinking a lot about how I make an impact publicly. I know I'm doing well from a company perspective. As a CEO, I'm really happy with what's going on, happy with my life and the focus I'm putting into the company. You can always be better, but I'd say that I'm pretty at level right now for where I want to be and what I want to become more importantly. So I'm there. All those goals are pretty set. The two things that I'm really thinking about are how can I make a better impact in my kind of social life, like the people that watch these videos and you know, obviously just like personally, how can I improve my relationship? How can I improve my family relationships? Those are, that's a big focus of mine right now. Cause like physically, mentally, I'm like good, I'm there. Just trying to think about like how can I do these shows better and how can I connect with my family in a more meaningful way. A lot of other stuff been going on, just like cleaned out my whole house, been reducing my possessions a lot, trying to get rid of a lot of stuff, trying to give away a lot of stuff that I just don't need. Just minimize the kind of weight of the materials that I have. So that's been really good. I don't know, I'm losing weight physically and I feel like I should lose weight mentally and materially as well. <laughs> kind of all factors, like the same feelings. Like, oh, I, you know, the less I have, the better. So a lot of physical exercise, that's the one thing that has really been improving. It's been good. As for future videos, I still wanna be doing these. I don't know when I can do them. I'm not quite at the point where I can confidently say like on a Tuesday that I can do one of these because I am legitimately working from 7 a.m. when I get back from yoga and I shower and I meditate to 9 or 10 p.m. just before I have to go to bed. And that's Monday through Friday. So the only time that I can really make these videos is Saturdays and Sundays. So you'll at least get one. But again, I wanna think about the production quality. I wanna think about the help that I have. Maybe I can bring someone in for those videos or even at least a couple of the videos. And then the other thing I'm thinking about is filming more of my panels and public speaking so I can put clips up, but I need some help for that too. So it's tough. I, need, I think I need some help at this point for these videos. I gotta think about that. Maybe need to post some more applications on Twitter for people that can do it. But again, I probably need someone in Los Angeles. So I don't know, Arcadia area, it's tough. But expect more videos from me. I am not going silent. I am just focused on improving my life. I took a month or two to really focus on my own betterment and my goals, and that went really well. So I'm now getting to the point where combined with those goals, I can confidently make videos and help the world. I've also, on a final note, been blown away by how many people have said that this YouTube channel has actually made a difference, which is so hard to believe because every video gets about 100 people that watch it, but there's so many people that have actually come to me and been like, hey, I saw one of those videos. They come to me outside of being involved with CLG. They're like, there's, that's not even, that's a no factor. They come to me and they're like, 
hey, I really enjoyed your video. I got it like this. And like particularly TwitchCon when I was making these pretty consistently. And TwitchCon was about when I had to stop making videos because I was there for three straight days and I just couldn't film. That's so, I had people that came up to me that were like, hey, I'm like your videos made a difference. And they weren't talking about esports. They weren't talking about anything. It's just like those self-improvement videos made a difference. I mean, that is my oxygen. That is so cool. Couldn't believe it. Even the other night, the CEO of MetaThreads, a guy named Steve, told me he watched my videos. Super cool. That was a huge compliment. Couldn't believe someone of like that caliber was watching me. So uh, it's, awesome. it's awesome. I mean, it's, it's amazing that people are watching these and they're getting something out of it. So that's inspiring me to make more. I think the more comments and the more I realize that people actually get a benefit out of these, the more that I'll do more of them. Because that's really my goal in life is to talk about self-improvement. I really, truly believe that anybody can apply these kind of practical principles and get after it and they can get to where they want to go. But we're always so self-conscious and afraid. We're, we're so inauthentic about what we really want and we're afraid to go after it. And those are these, why I make these videos is kind of just talking about that. So that's my update for this, this video. Fall nine times, get up 10. The meaning of that is just no matter how many times you fail, maybe you didn't make it on your challenge, you get back up and you keep going. Don't let fear stop you. Don't let anybody stop you. Just keep getting after it every single day. Be better than you were yesterday. It's really been a pleasure. I hope you got something out of this. If you did, leave me a comment. Tell me what's going on with you, particularly if I know you from before or my previous community. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, if not, then just tell me what's going on. Or if you have questions, I'm still doing Q&A for these videos. Part of the reason it was hard for me to do videos was I didn't have a lot of Q&A coming in. I had, it was like difficult to get people to ask questions. So if you want to know something about gaming, esports, CLG, if you want to know something about personal development, self-improvement, techniques for meditation, whatever is on your mind right now, just some problem you have you don't know how to solve, let me help out. I'd love to do a video about it. Anyway, that's it for now. This is Devin. Just signing off for now. I will see you again for the next video.